This is my school Bible. It was given to me by the Education Committee of Cardiff City Council when I started my high school. And you can see it was well used, it's fallen to pieces. Uh, you'll see there the marks I made uh, in my scripture course for my O level. I was very lucky. I had an absolutely brilliant scripture teacher, Mrs. Jean Evans, who brought the scriptures to life. So it wasn't a dull and dry course that I just did for the exams. She brought the scriptures to life. And that built on the teaching of the Sunday school that I went to at Park End Presbyterian Church, where they shared with us children the love of God and the stories of Jesus. This is one of the pictures in this Bible that made a great impression on me. It's a hand holding a plumb line. Uh, it's uh, an illustration of the book of the prophet Amos, and he's sent to be quite stern uh, with the people up in the northern kingdom uh, to try and uh, wake them up as to what God actually required of his people. And the reason it made such an impression on me was because it looked exactly like the plumb line that my mum used at home uh, to tell whether or not she was hanging the wallpaper straight. Amos's prophecy is about calling God's people to behave like God's people, not just to have the name of God's people, but to live it out, to live out their love of God by following his commands. And as followers of Jesus, we know that we are still called to obey God's commands, not in fear, not because we're frightened, not because we think we're going to be excluded if we get it wrong. Jesus has died for our sins. We are promised forgiveness. We can say sorry, but that doesn't stop us being commanded by Jesus to live in obedience to the will of God. If you love me, you will obey my commandments, said Jesus. Mm -hmm.